family and everyone that's watching. Welcome to our first episode of Social Distancing Diaries. I'm Miss Casey. I'm Miss Christy. And together we are the owners of Lori's Dance Center in East Islip, New York. We wanted to start a video vlog about what's been going on and um, try to connect to everybody and share a little bit what's going on in the community and what's going on um, with our dancers. Our dance family has been so supportive during this whole time and we really want to thank them. So the first thing we want to do is feature some people in our community that are really giving back and going above and beyond. Yes, we want to recognize some of our LDC heroes, people who've been spreading lots of positivity during this time and some who've actually been on the front lines helping people who are currently dealing with COVID-19 in the hospitals locally. We wanted to surprise them with some clips, thanking them for the hard work they've been doing. Take a look. Thank you, Mom, for all the hard work you've been doing to keep everyone safe. Love you. Thank you for helping everyone out and being such a great nurse. Love you, Mom. Hey, Mom. Thank you so much for helping everyone every day. I love you so much and I'm really proud of you. I'd just like to say thank you for being a nurse and for the amount of lives you've saved for what you've done over the years of working in your hospital. Thank you. Thank you, Mom, for all the hard work you've been doing in the hospital lately. I love you so much and couldn't be more proud. Thank you so much, Mom, for all the hard work you've been doing in the hospital. Love you. Thank you so much to all of the LDC family members who are working in the hospitals. We thank you guys so much. You are real life heroes and we couldn't be more proud of you. In addition, every week we will be featuring a social distancer of the week who has really been going above and beyond during their virtual learning. We're super proud of all of our students. Everyone's really stepped up and adapted nicely to this transition. But we really just wanted to highlight a specific dancer and get to know them and ask them what it's like to be dancing remotely and be a competitive athlete from home. This week, we're highlighting one of our competition team dancers. Caden has been dancing for nine years, and she has been a part of our competition team for two years now. She did pre-competition last year, and this year she completed her first year of competition. Caden has been going absolutely above and beyond in all of her online classes, and we wanted to take this opportunity to get to know a little bit more about Kaden and really show off what a great dancer she is. So your student of the week, because we're so proud of you. And so we just wanted to kind of get your take on what's the best thing about being able to do online dance? What's the hardest part about online dance? How are you staying motivated and keeping on track with your goals while you're stuck at home? So a good part about it is that I feel like I've been more free now because I've been like crazy with dance in school when we weren't in quarantine. I've been like working out a lot Oh yeah, do you, do you craft? Yeah, I've been doing some crafts. Yeah, so Kaden, what are some of your goals that you're setting for yourself right now to keep yourself on track? Just to know that it will be okay soon and being motivated. What's the number one thing that you're most excited to do once we can um, have like a big sleepover with all my friends. I have one more question for you and that is what does it mean to you to be part of the LDC competition team? I really enjoy dancing and I feel like the LDC family is very strong and I'm very proud to be a part of it. Oh we're proud to have you Kaden. It's been <laughs> so hard working in your classes. You've always been a hard worker, but Miss Casey and I just felt like, especially now that we're online, every time you're in class, you're giving us 100%. We can see that your dancing is improving every day while you're at home, and we're so, so proud of you. 
Thank you. Yay! Every week we will be picking someone out. So we're watching you guys. Um, and we really are blessed to have you guys be so committed during this time and work with us. So thank you so much. Okay, the last thing that we would like to do is recognize a local business that has been operating during this pandemic. There's had to be a lot of changes for businesses and some of them are really struggling. So we just wanted to feature a business that we've worked with closely for many years. We really love them. They're a really great company. We really want to shout out Dance and Dancewear. This is somewhere where you guys been shopping throughout the years and getting all your recital competition needs. And we really want to support them during this time. They're not open physically, but they are accepting online orders through Facebook and Instagram and doing curbside pickup. So if you guys need anything during this time when you're dancing from home, I would definitely support her. She's really been such an integral part of the Long Island dance community and getting us everything we need. I have a quick message to read from her. Greetings from your friends at Dance and Dancewear. We hope you're all staying active and connected. We miss everyone so much. Even though our physical location remains closed, we are here for you. Subscribe to our email updates via the pop-up on our website, www.danceandancewear.com. Need something? You can reach us via email, Instagram, and Facebook. Stay healthy, stay safe, and most of all, keep dancing. Thank you so much to Dance and Dancewear for being our business of the week, our feature of the week. We are really proud of the work that you guys are doing. We're really happy to be um, part of the same circle, and we're happy to send our clients to your business. We really appreciate you, and thank you for keeping your customer safety number one thank you all for watching this is a good way for us to connect with everybody while we can't physically be together we would love to welcome anyone to our dance family we're currently accepting registration and anyone can sign up it's a great way for the kids to connect with each other and establish some routine and definitely get their bodies moving you can visit us at lauriesdancecenter.com or email us at lauriesdancecenter at gmail.com if you're interested and that's a wrap on our first episode of Social Distancing Diaries. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye. I want to give them a shout out um, to help them during this time. Uh, pee off.